Congratulations, Tom's in level two. So he's doing really well. So yeah, thank you. Uh, welcome, on, family. Um, I just have one thing to ask DCD men. Who's the man? Jesus! That's Come on. right. That's what we're here to do, is give our lives over to Jesus. In October of last year, I was in the crowd over on the other side there as an STMer, and I got to hear a beautiful story of a young man who turned his life over to Christ. Um, my personal story right now is that I'm facing a divorce. Uh, I wore my ring because uh, I, I serve a God that's bigger than my problem. Amen. And I know that he can fix it. So, uh, in this time, though, I need to fast all those things so I can focus on what's at hand. And uh, what he's been showing me is uh, the deceptions of the enemy that have been playing out in my life. Um, I've had six surgeries in uh, almost nine years. I'm facing three more surgeries. I'm, I'm, I'm bone on bone on my left knee. And uh, I have a torn bicep. And I need another fusion in my neck. Uh, there's a lot of pain to deal with. And the enemy had me bought in on that. So with the pain meds and the marijuana and the alcohol, I was trapped. But... Um, you don't have that stuff here. Come on. <laughs> you gotta do that. So, I work in the food bank. I give it 100%. He renews my strength. He renews my joy. I take an aspirin here and there. I take a ibuprofen every once in a while. Uh, he is my strength and my joy. Yeah. I know uh, that one of the things that he has shown me um, is that if I give all my effort into loving him with my heart, my mind, and my soul, and all of my strength, that he pours into me this overflowing love, which I'm able to love all my brothers up on 14 West. And I do, I love them genuinely. It's from the Lord. And uh, I'm, I'm honored to be here, to be able to walk with brothers. Um, Psalms 37, four is true. You know, he gives you the delights of your heart. I've never had a real good friend. And uh, I don't have any, any sons, I have daughters. And he's busting all you guys, so. I really appreciate it. When my, uh, in my marriage, I uh, was focused a lot on that, and that's my past, and I have to let that go. Um, he's given me two promises. In Psalms 37.4, or 30, 46.5, he said that uh, he's within her and she shall not fall. Hmm. And that gave me a great comfort to know. And uh, the next one he gave me was in Exodus 14, 14, where he said that the, he will fight my battles and all I need to do is be still. So he's brought me to this spacious place where I can be healed. And how ironic that it's a hospital, right? Come on. But that shows the humor of our Lord. He loves each one of us. He wants to pour into all of our lives. And he's waiting for you. So don't believe the lies about the enemies trying to feed you about you need pain meds, you need alcohol. You don't need it. You just need Jesus. Come on. Thank you. Yeah. Come on, let's let someone know how much they appreciate his openness and honesty. And